Hey guys, it's Jack here, one of the senior horticulturists here at Philbrook. And today we're gonna to be looking at something a little bit more interesting, dealing with a bug's life. And this particular bug is a monarch butterfly. So I'm sure everyone's seen these float around quite often. They're actually called a milkweed butterfly. And the reason that is, is because they like to get the nectar and lay their eggs on a specific type of plant. And that's a milkweed plant. The reason it is, is because the milkweed makes them poisonous to birds. So when birds eat them, they'll remember that that insect made them sick and they won't eat them ever again. They have many different life cycles. They'll have four actually complete life cycles that they'll go from Mexico or Southern Texas all the way up into Canada. And then they'll actually have one last generation. It's called the super generation that they'll actually travel close to 3,000 miles from the north back to the south. They travel about 50 miles a day. And if you could imagine being a small insect traveling 3,000 miles, it's quite a journey. And the uh, super generation can live up to eight months as opposed to the previous four that can live only about four weeks. One of the other interesting facts about these is you've got to think they have to time their uh, migration to coincide with the best conditions for nectar plants which provide them food but then also their host plants which they lay their eggs on which is how their caterpillars uh, then pupate to become new butterflies so they continue their journey and so if you think about it uh, quite amazing for a small insect to do that if you guys look close at the bottom here it has a double line of white dots there's another butterfly that's very common it's called a viceroy that mimics this monarch. Why? Because the birds know it's poisonous so it won't get eaten. They only have single rows of dots. And then also their structure inside their wings is quite a bit different. 